In this video, I will explain how you can construct an Arduino Tetris game, which can be played using five push buttons to move and rotate the blocks. You will need an Arduino Uno, a large breadboard, an LCD, a trim pot, about 30 connecting leads, five push buttons, and a 270 ohm resistor. A 270 ohm resistor has red, purple, black, black and brown colors on the side, but actually any resistor between 220 to 470 ohm should work. You can find details of the components at link 1 in the description. Remember the pins of your LCD must be soldered. If your LCD isn't soldered, do make sure you do this yourself before starting the project or ask somebody to help you with it. Before you begin constructing the device, you will need to ensure you have the Arduino IDE installed. If you have not installed this, go to link free in the description. Once this has been done, download the program, which can be found at link six in the description, onto your computer. The file you will download is called Tremino Rev 5 Buttons. It is a zip file. When you extract it, you will see it contains two files. One of those is actually a script for Arduino Tetris. The other one is a library you will need to run Arduino Tetris. Once you have downloaded and extracted this folder, you can go into the Arduino IDE and select File Open and then navigate to where you have downloaded the script for the Arduino IDE and the script will be called Tremino Rev 5 Buttons. You will see next to the script there is also a file called Pictures. That is the library. But don't worry about using Pictures. All you need to do is open up the Tremino Rev 5 Button script and the Arduino IDE will automatically locate Pictures since it's in the same folder. That will happen later. Now you can begin building your device. If you are new to breadboards, you may want to check out my video about breadboard anatomy at link 7 in the description. Connect all the components exactly as in the schematic diagram at link 8 in the description. The trim pot has two connectors on one side and one on the other side. So you should make sure that the side of the trim pot with only one connector is facing the LCD. It's important to remember that there are two types of buzzers, active and passive buzzers. For this project we need a passive buzzer. You can identify a passive buzzer because it has green on the bottom. It's also very important to make sure the buzzer is facing the same direction as on the diagram since buzzers have positive and negative sides. You can identify the positive side because it has a little plus symbol on the top of the buzzer and also make sure that the positive side of the buzzer is facing the LCD. Be careful to push the trim pot, resistor and jumper wires in all the way. It is also very important that you connect wires to the correct pins of the Arduino and the correct pins of the LCD. So take your time with this. Once the device has been constructed, plug the Arduino cable into your laptop. Then, in the IDE, click Tools, Ports, and make sure you have selected the correct port. Then you need to upload the program to your Arduino. You should see the lights on the Arduino flashing as it is uploaded. If it is working correctly, you will hear the Tetris soundtrack playing. If you can hear sound, but see nothing on the screen, push in the potentiometer. You may also need to adjust it with a screwdriver. You may also want to carefully compare the defined section of the program and the liquid crystal section of the program to the connections on your device. Trace each cable from the component to the Arduino port to ensure it is plugged into the right area according to the program. For example, if you trace button 5 from the breadboard, it should lead to A4 on the Arduino. Also check each connection very carefully against the diagram. This can take time and patience, but the end result should be worth the effort.